My earliest memory of football is probably grade nine. So in Canada, football is not that big. Like I actually remember going to a city championship hockey game and the football coach was there and he first, that's when he first came up to me, said, you're gonna be coming up for the team this year. We want you there. So the first practice was actually like indoor learning like stances and positions of that stuff. And I remember I hated it. I hated it. I went home, I was sore. I told my mom I hated this, but I didn't want to tell my dad because I know he'd be upset with me. So um, my mom said, just try it one more time. Don't tell your dad, it'll all be fine. And I went um, and I had a really good coach that year, Mr. Green, and he kind of took me under his wing and pushed me through it. So those indoor practices are the first taste of quote unquote football that I've ever had. At my high school, the first person I played was offensive line, defense line, and long snapper. Like I said, Canada football's not that big, so there wasn't even enough guys to feel the team at practice. So I kind of had to go both ways kind of thing. So I discovered I had a talent for snapping, basically by screwing around one day before practice. I got out there with my buddies and just bent over and kind of chucked it between my legs, one-handed, no form, nothing. And the coach, Mr. Green, came up to me and was like, like, work on that. Like, you can see they got something there, so keep at it. And then went home, was self-taught, got on YouTube, kind of watched some how-to videos and um, the rest was history, but it all just started from screwing around before practice. So Canada, I was the typical kid, like hockey was my life. Um, my dad grew up playing it, my uncle grew up playing it and started there and that basically consumed my life from the moment I stepped on ice three till um, about 15 or 16 is when I stopped playing. But you know, I grew up with my mom, dad, my sister, really close family, my uncle, aunt, cousins, we were all really close together and always a big sports family, that kind of surrounded our life. My sister and I, like every weeknight, someone was going somewhere to do with sports. Pretty typical Canadian kid life, hockey and a nice tight family. Me and my sister were always fighting or something and she was the witty one, so she would stop right before my mom would turn around, that kind of thing. So I was always a little one, getting in trouble, throwing the last punch, saying the last word and always in timeout. The big influence of my life, like I said, my parents, obviously. Um, uh, outside of my close family is my uncle, my Uncle Peter. He um, has been there every step of the way. Uh, he's a guy I text very regularly. I talk to him every game day. I talk to him after every single game. He's really good on the mental side of it and, you know, thinking your way through your preparation, thinking your way through game day, and then also post game, thinking about what you did, what you could do better, and that kind of stuff. So, um, my Uncle Peter is for sure a big inspiration for me. Hockey, I just think in the same sense of football, is very team oriented. Like on the ice, you got five guys, so it's not as many guys as football, but in the sense it's just, it's kind of the stereotype in Canada, like everyone plays it. And just growing up, my dad played it going like on snow days or from school, me and my buddies would grab our skate sticks and go to a local pond that would freeze over and play for eight hours that day and just have so much fun. So it just, it started off so much fun just as a kid, which I now have fun playing football. Um, but just like the team aspect and the brotherhood, which is so cliche, but um, they're very uh, similar in that sense. And then I just love skating and having fun out there. So the first person at Utah that reached out to me was Jeremy the Pan. He was the person that recruited me. I was in the transfer portal and I basically woke up one day to a text from an unknown number saying, hey, this is Coach LePan. We want to bring you out for a visit, blah, blah, blah. So, we chatted for a few weeks. My parents and I figured out a day we can come out here. Uh, my parents and I flew out and just fell in love instantly just with Salt Lake City as a whole, but more importantly, the program here, the one that Coach Witt has implemented. Um, you know, the special teams legacy speaks for itself with Mitch, Matt, Louie, um, Chase Dominguez snapped before me. Like I remember watching him in high school growing up. So just knowing those guys came through here and the culture that Coach Wood has here is just, it was a very easy decision even after 48 hours or so that I was in Salt Lake. Uh, being drafted in the CFL was for sure an honor. You know, it's dream come true because uh, I grew up going to those games um, with my dad, you know, watching those guys that when I was a kid were superstars to me, like bigger than life. So um, when I got drafted last year in May, it was a dream come true. I couldn't be with my family, unfortunately, I'm still here. But we had a little Zoom party, quote unquote, and. Um, got the call from Ottawa and it was really just a dream come true and kind of showed like a little bit of the hard work paying off. Uh, to play in the CFL or NFL, um, it's like I said, dream come true. Like stereotypically, like, I was just a sports kid my whole life. It's, it was hockey in the winter, soccer across in the summer. Um, I would pick up any ball and play with my friends. Like sports were really just my life and they're still my life. Um, and I've never really wanted to do anything else besides be a professional athlete. Like you said, whether that's CFL or hopefully the NFL. I just play football just because 
I'm gonna have friends the rest of my life. Like I live with Cam Rising and Luke Felix. Those are two of my best friends. Uh, Bam Oleseni, Brian Keithy, like those guys know are gonna be my wedding. Um, and it's crazy, like a kid from Hamilton, Ontario and a kid from California, like Cam, like he's gonna be my wedding. Like that never would have thought about it. Um, just in like the father figure coach what is to me, like I love that man and I would never have got that. So just these relationships that you get at every level, like brotherhood, Coach Witt, Coach Swan, like those relationships, you wouldn't get anywhere else. And to me, that's the most important thing is just these people that I'll know them the rest of my life, I'll talk to the rest of my life, would never have happened if I didn't have this opportunity.